Hello, I'm going to talk about binary search. I'll be implementing it in Java using test-driven development. I've also got a companion video, video to go along with this where I've uh, executed the test cases that I use to write binary search on a collection of books and I'll show you uh, physically how to execute binary search which I, I think is quite good in explaining how the algorithm works as it's a little less abstract than just looking at code. So I'll just get on with it. So first I'm going to declare a new Java project. Um, so binary search and I'll declare a new uh, source folder to put my test code in and I'll open my uh, new test case. So that's in the test folder and uh, I'll keep it in a package. So I'm naming it after the class it's going to test, which is um, binary search. And our first test is going to be uh, establishing the behavior when you're looking for a element that isn't present in the list um, or array that you're searching through. So when searching for a key not in array uh, or actually it's have searching for key in array uh, for key not in array is minus one. So we write our assertion first, so we expect to receive uh, minus one and uh, we'll instantiate our binary search class and there'll be a method find index of uh, and we'll be searching for the key one in a integer array containing zero. So uh, if I run this test, uh, it won't run or even compile because uh, binary search hasn't been declared. So if we go ahead and declare that in the source directory and also declare the method that we're going to use. So it's going to return an integer, we're going to pass it in a key and the array is going to search through. So before we actually change any of this code, like removing this to do notice and um, getting it to work, we'll run a test to make sure they're failing for the right reasons. So uh, we're getting a null instead of an int, so uh, it's failing for the right reasons. So the simplest way to pass this test is simply by returning minus one. So if I go ahead and do that, the test should now pass. And we now have the ability to uh, refactor and make sure we don't break our code as we have a passing test suite. So if I just get rid of that to-do notice and run the tests, they will pass. I uh, haven't done anything wrong um, and I can't see any more refactoring to do so we can move on to our next test. So this time we'll be looking um, at an element that is contained in a, uh, an array of only that element. So searching for key present in array length one. Uh, is one. Uh, not a great name, but I'll let you try and think of something a little bit better. So we'll expect uh, the index to be zero, and if we oh, uh, search for one in new int one, this will fail because uh, we're returning, we, we've got a hard coded uh, minus one that we're returning. So now we actually have to perform some uh, perform some comparison to actually return the correct value. So if we look in the first element of the array, actually I'll write it this other way around. So if the key is equal to the first element of the array, we're just going to return um, the index of that element, which is zero. Those tests pass, so we can look at refactoring. Uh, we've got this duplication in our test code, this uh, bin binary search um, uh, instantiation and calling the find index of method on it. So we're going to extract that out um, into a new method, 
which will be uh, uh, find index of and run our test code, make sure we haven't broken our tests. So two tests run, they both pass, looks good, and now we can introduce some parameters. This is our key. Save that and run the test again. Oh. Those pass, so we can continue our refactoring. So this is the array we're searching through. Okay, and that passes, so we can go ahead and replace this here. We were searching for one in the array, uh, con con uh, an array just containing the element one. So if we run those tests, they still pass, and we can just move this down a bit. Again, run the test to make sure you haven't moved anything incorrectly, and they all pass, so we can go ahead and write some more tests. Now we're going to generalize to looking at the midpoint of an array and checking the element in there. In binary search you check the midpoint and uh, if the key you're searching for is greater than the midpoint then you throw away the bottom half of the array as all of those items in the bottom half are less than the midpoint. Uh, likewise, if your key is less than your midpoint, then you throw away the upper half of the array. So that's the behavior we want to generalize to. And to get there, we need to generalize uh, by looking at the midpoint first. So, uh, searching for key that is midpoint of array length three is. Um, Uh, one, I've just noticed this test here is incorrectly named. Uh, this should be zero, as that's the index we were expecting. Currently, I'll leave that as it is, but after finishing this test, I will refactor that correctly. So we start from our assertion. We're expecting to get one, and oh, we are searching for the key two in the array new uh, one, two, three. So if we run that, that will fail. Get minus one as uh, the key isn't equal to the, uh, the first element. So if we check in the midpoint, so we calculate that by array dot length minus one divided by two to get the midpoint of the indexes. So we run that. Oh, uh, that does not work because, uh, oh, because we're returning zero rather than our midpoint. So now the test should pass successfully, which they do. So I can go ahead and for my refactoring, change this. Okay, so they all pass and we finished our refactoring. So we can move on to the next test. This time we need to start throwing away parts of our array to search for uh, the uh, for, for keys that are the midpoint of uh, smaller subarrays of our array. So if we look at uh, the third element of a, of an array, length three, and throw away the bottom half, the midpoint um, will, uh, will, will be the uppermost element. Probably doesn't make sense, but if you look at the test, it might make a bit more sense. Searching for key, that is midpoint of upper half of array length three is two. So we expect our index to be two and we use find index of searching for the key three in the array one, two, three. So here to pass this test, we're going to throw away 
the bottom half of the array, this one, two, and we'll be looking at this, um, just the element three and calculating the midpoint of that subarray length one. To do that, we have to have a, we have to implement two things, a, a while loop and another conditional that modifies the value of our lower bound. So we have to, if we write our while loop, which will be while low is less than or equal to array dot length minus one, we're going to search through our array, array and continually refine the bounds that we'll be searching within. So we'll also calculate our midpoint each time we go through our loop and that will be by using low plus array dot length minus one divided by two. So if our, if our key is greater than array midpoint, we will throw away the bottom half of our array by um, uh, initialising our local variable low to, um, well, uh, by assigning midpoint plus one uh, to the variable low. Initially, it will be zero as um, that that's the lower bound of the whole array. So if we run our tests now, they will pass. Um, I'm not sure if I ran that test before writing that behavior. So if I didn't, I should have done that to make sure that the behavior wasn't implemented or well, the test wouldn't pass beforehand. I'll make sure I do that this time. <laughs> so this time we're looking for a key that is the uh, that is midpoint of lower half of array length three is uh, zero. So we're looking for the first element. Uh, so we're going to search for the e key one in the array one two three. Okay, so if I run this test, it should fail. In fact, it's not even going to finish running. Um, so I'm going to terminate that, and I'm going to write the behaviour that passes that test. I consider a test that um, just doesn't terminate a failing test, as if you're stuck in an infinite loop, an infinite, infinite loop, then that's uh, probably not desired behaviour. So we're going to have a, a variable high that chops off the upper end of the array, and that will be initialized to um, array dot length minus one, and we'll calculate our midpoint using that. So if our key <coughs> is less than our midpoint, then we'll assign the value of high to be midpoint minus one, therefore throwing away the uh, upper half of our array. So if I run this code now, it should pass this time. Okay, so it doesn't, uh, therefore I have done something wrong. immediately transparent as to what I've done wrong. So searching for key that is midpoint of lower half of array length three is zero. So we're failing on this test. So we're searching for one in the array one, two, three. So if we have a look at our code, um, low will be zero and high will be two to begin with, so low is less than or equal to high. We'll calculate our midpoint as one. Um, our key is not equal to uh, the second element of our array. However, the key is less, ah, here we go. 
the key is less than array the the second uh, yeah the second or the, the the mid element of our array. So if I run stop those tests and run them again, they should pass this time. Okay, so they pass, and we have a working implementation of binary search. I 